Hello, everybody. Happy Monday and a big old what's up, everybody. <laughs> you know, if you see me in the chats and that what's up, and you know, I try to be in like some of Neil Johnson and stuff and everybody, a lot of love to all those fellow YouTubers out there like uh, Q and uh, like I say, Neil Johnson and my buddy Matt and Shannon and uh, uh, mine and Jamal. He's a cool dude. Check him out one day. He's from North Carolina with, I mean, he's got a pretty big channel. Anyhow, please disregard the camera. It's not the quality that I'm exactly wanting today, but it's what I've got to work with because I'm having trouble with some software, so we're having to run this other camera. Uh, let's just go with content, not beauty today. How about that? All right, so <laughs> I've got some articles from last week that I had uh, put together and just was not able to get them out. And the um, fact of the matter is, is they're actually still relevant right now, and it's pretty interesting. Some of it has to do with Brittany Greer. Um, there's a few other, some mainstream articles that gives a pretty neat little contrast to what's going on. Anyhow, also I've got some stuff that I pulled up today as well, and I'd like to bring them to you. And it's quite a few, uh, quite a few things. And, uh, I'll, at the end of this video, um, uh, you can fast forward all the way through it. I go through my list of people who have been injured because of some weird mandated stuff. That's all I'm going to say about that. It's towards the end and it's, it's pretty alarming. And, um, well, the first one right here because of some walking. But check this out. Let us let me get this out of the way, guys. Let's go straight to these articles. And by the way, thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate you guys so very, very much. All right. With no further ado, let me see if I can get everything to work here. And uh, we'll, we'll roll through this with minimal, minimal hiccups due to this. I have oiled this computer, so it should be freed up and ready to go. It's, it's, I'm running uh, a uh, conventional oil. I don't run synthetic in this computer, but maybe that could be a possibility. Anyways, uh, let me see if I can get over here to it, guys. Here we go. All right. So, <laughs> uh, let me get this a little bit bigger. All right. Here we are. Now, this chick right here, tough enough winner, Sarah Lee, has is no longer with us. She is 30 years old. She looks like she's in, you know, okay shape <laughs> you know not not unhealthy i'll be right back all right anyhow back to what we're talking about mm. it's wonderful to have a great a great business and to thrive be doing this this is what i do um i run the shop myself by the way it's pretty big for people the people that's just tuning in or new subscribers there's this i'm in a, in a five day shop and I do all this myself. I'll fill all the stalls up and go through vehicles one by one. I take one apart and get parts for that one. I'm fixing one. And then uh, I do have a dude that will come in and help me every now and again. It's the dude that I worked for for like 20 years who owns the building. It's kind of funny. But anyways, you'll as you as if you stick around, you'll see. And I have a YouTube channel. We'll fix it with an exclamation point on YouTube. And that is a base. I do stuff like this, like build things and fix stuff. And uh, we, and you know, I might, I'm get, I've got to know, uh, do good old things running, old engines and all that, hit and miss motors. So that's a whole other genre of tubing. If you want to go that route, it would help me out on the algorithm if you gave me a sub over there. Anyhow, maybe not watch the videos, but some numbers would help. And that way I could get this thing kind of up and rolling. I just kind of started a little while back. So enough of the commercials. Sorry about that. Got sidetracked because of the phone. But like I say, thank you guys. Guys are awesome. With, and I've got a, a dookie camera, and it's, we'll just have to run it. Anyway, so this Sarah Weston, better known as a, to WWE fans as a 2015 Tough Enough winner, Sarah Lee, she's no longer with us at 30 years old. Um, now, I don't, there's the, the, the COA, we'll just call it, oh, COD, I'm sorry, the COD, uh, unknown right now at this moment. Another one of those. And let me go, now, uh, let me see if I can get this all straightened out here because I've got stuff pulled up everywhere. Yeah, this is the one I'm looking for right here. Okay, all right, guys. I don't know if you can see the top of this bar, but we've got a lot of stuff to go through. And this is going to be pr quite interesting, a lot of fun, and a wonderful journey into uh, into what's going on here. We've got some mainstream articles up here. <laughs> this is crazy, dude. Lots of things. All right, so we'll go ahead and knock this one out. This is a good one. This is going to be a lot of fun. Because it's, it's exposing some racist uh, Republicans, uh, racist Republicans. Let's see here. Listen to the, I think a, a racist, does white Supremes, let me see here. Let's listen to this audio here. It's just Martinez. It's like the oddest thing, it's like black and brown on this float. And then there's this, this white guy with this little black kid who's 
misbehave. The kid is bouncing off the effing walls on the floor, practically tipping it over. There's nothing you can do to control him. All right, so those racist remarks by, what's, I think this is a, uh, I could be wrong. Hold on, wait a minute. L.A. City Council President says, fellow, fellow Democrat, so let's see here. Am I, oh, I was wrong. It's a Democrat. Okay, all right. Democrat Council President Nuri Martinez was caught on a leaked audio saying, fellow Democrat Mike Bennon's son was, I'm not even saying that. <laughs> you can read it, but I ain't saying it. But that's her quotes, and I'm not getting in that. I am not stepping in that pile. Dude. Um, and it's, it's it's worse. That's just one audio. They've scrubbed a lot of it, but she's got... I am i can't not say what's on here, but this is a... She was a... Uh, she's a council member, and she's part of the Gascon movement, and he says that, oh, we're not going to tolerate this, but there's no action as of, of, a, of a... What do you call it? Resignation? Sorry. Anyways... Uh, for some reason, Republicans just always feel the need to bow to the hypocrites, except for the, uh, it's, it's funny how that works out. Funny how that works out, guys. Okay. Um, we're here and <clears throat> Michael Moore, Michael Moore, guys, this dude right here, uh, I, uh, don't know about him and some of those Wayfair cabinets or pizzas or maybe him and Oprah were trading. I don't know. Anyways, this dude predicts that uh, Democrats will win the midterms. I don't know. It says, could it be right again, guys? Mm, you tell me in the comments what you think. I'm not going to read a lot of the article because it just pretty much is just that it's bashing Trump. I mean, that's pretty much all they're doing there. Um, And then you've got... Uh, See here, slow computer day, guys. Let me tell you guys, slow computer, guys. Kanye West Twitter, Instagram locked over offensive posts. Dude, let me tell you something. All that, that they, they ain't liking the fact that he's reaching a lot of people who what you want to call are normies where they're kind of like just sitting on the fence, just want to enjoy their day, don't want to really get you know involved in all this crazy mess. But uh, they, they are starting to see that if they don't, then it's going to be a problem just for them to be able uh, to enjoy a day of, of just peace and quiet. They don't, and so that's a big thing. Lefties, if nothing else, if lefties, they want lefties, but they really want people just to be still and not pay any attention to what's going on, just keep doing their thing. But when you got somebody like Kanye West, is bringing it to their attention that this is a bad idea. You guys need to, you know, step up. He's uh, manufacturing his own line of clothes, has having it manufactured in the United States. He's not going through China's, uh, you know, terrible, um, well, I can't even say what China's doing, but it has to do with harvesting of certain things. And it's, and it's not fruit. I'm telling you that right now. The Uyghurs are going through a lot down there, guys. And not just the Uyghurs, but they're running out of those guys. They're just starting to just like grab people up off the street, cut them open. It's crazy, guys. But uh, now going as Ye. I thought it was Ye, but it's Ye. Now known legally as Ye, or Ye. I still want to say Ye. A spokesperson on Twitter or Instagram says parent uh, Meta said uh, that Ye posted messages that violated their policies. It, it uh, In the tweet, it says, Death Con on three Jewish people. And uh, uh, it's talking about... Um, now, oh, internet into uh, archive records. That's an apparent reference to the U.S. military readiness and condition scale known as that. So they're just picking out words. They're, he's testing the water. So, okay, you better ban him while you can. Now, don't get me wrong. I do not trust Elon Musk one bit. There's some stuff going on where Elon is trying to say that uh, just Taiwan, just go ahead and just become part of China and, and a weird little agreement and all that and everything because it's supposed to happen anyways. Well, we know that Elon Musk has, has got a lot of a lot of action in China. And if he acquires chit Twitter, is, is this going to be the acquisition that we think it's going to be or is it going to be a bait and switch? We don't know. I have not joined Twitter. Um, <clears throat> now, if I see that it's going in a direction of free speech, now we, we may see me on Twitter and I'll, I'll let you know if that happens. But right now, as it speaks, I don't trust a dude who thinks it's a good idea to put a computer chip in your head. He thinks the same thing, guys. He's he's not a apparently. I don't know if he's like a subcontractor for the. I don't know who Elon. I want to say WF, but I don't know, Elon Musk right now, guys. You know, if you that's fine if you like him. I hope I'm not singling out any of my listeners or watchers, and I don't mind if you like him. But for me right now, as it stands, I think that right now I just want to sit back and watch a little bit more before I totally dive into this whole thing. If you're, if you're okay with that. If not, put it in the comment sections. But that's just kind of how I feel, guys. Uh, we got, let's see, what else we got here? Lord, I'm going through a lot of these articles.
this was last week guys i wanted to try to get this out but i just man all right so this is a good sign this is a neat you know turn of the ship guys senator truck chuck oh, truck chuck grassley is maintaining a significant significant lead over his democrat opponent just over a month out from the november midterm the e-words okay and a really nice lead uh, by 11 points guys that's great dude that's any you know dude that's I mean, he's he's America first. I've heard him talk before. He's a good dude. I th we'll see what happens. Got to be better than any of the lefties. Uh, dude, okay, check this out. Another thing, something I've talked about a lot, and this is mental health. Mental health is part of the left's way to get society to kind of bend at its will. You you break down people's mental health. So take, for instance, if you got somebody that's just been uh, exposed to a lot of really bad things that needs to heal up instead of using these like psychotropic drugs they can do it without that and they, there's been like uh, people like tom cruise tom cruise is a really crazy example of something that was muffled out way back in the what i think the early 2000s maybe a little before that when he got on uh ma mainstream tv and kind of went to talking about uh you know that the things used to treat depression aren't really working and people don't know. I mean, I don't know what that, you know, we're not, I'm not saying what that is, but I'm just saying some of the methods used weren't exactly what you want to call the things that people needed trying to put it in a way that's friendly for certain platforms. Okay. Cause I'm not giving any advice for that. Um, but all I'm saying is, is like, you're finding out now that, uh, there's a, you may have been somewhat on point with a little bit of that. I'm using certain words guys. So please forgive my kind of talking in a circle there, but you know, I just want to get you to the drift because we want to stay on this platform and respect our guidelines because at least we can get out there and talk to you guys. It's nice to be on the on the big stage. All right, so when Mark Horowitz was 21, he began taking these things that helped him with his psych, you know, how he felt mentally. And, um, you know, it just never really panned out. Things, he didn't feel that, still didn't feel like he's actually be getting in any forward direction. So over time, he, as the time he'd been taking this stuff, he had to get, you know, down from it and slow uh, uh, you know, you back off a little bit, a little bit more, because if you don't, your brain just goes completely haywire. Well, meanwhile, in the, in the process of all that, you're not really completely 100% on point there. And it causes people to be susceptible to do maybe some of the things we've seen when it happens to schools and, uh, public places with, uh, with, with bad things. I can't use certain words, guys, please just understand that. I hope you can, you know, relate. But uh, and if you've been around, you might know what I'm talking about as far as that. Now, this dude right here, both of these people, the were uh, I can say this on there, but I can't say that word. I can say scoop a baby out, mama, but I can't say that word right there. <laughs> and, that, and that's a terrible way to say it, but the algorithm allows me to do that. And that's strange. All right. So bombshell rocks the Georgia State Senate because neither candidates wants to talk about the scooping of the babies out the mamas. Uh, um, dude. And uh, well, I, I can understand that. Let's give these... Let, this, people have made mistakes. If this has happened, then it's, you know, you can redeem yourself. You, you have, Lord asked for forgiveness. Both of these people right here can be forgiven by God through, you know, through his word. That's the truth. Okay. Uh, but your heart and soul is what it means at the end. And we know Warnock does not have, he's sort of a, he's, there's some bad things behind that guy, dude. And Herschel Walker has a lot better record from here on out where he's probably made mistakes, but has redeemed himself. So, you know, everybody's got stuff in their closet that nobody wants to see them put on if you know what i'm saying and so basically it's are you going to put that stuff back on when nobody's looking and this man over here on the left warnock would probably be the man to do so this man over here right here is has, is walking in the path of god and he's trying his best to redeem himself and bring people in the direction of therefore you can read in the bible where many things were that way where god had people that done some bad stuff and they were forgiven whenever they walked in the name of the lord and brought people up so it's really cool to see that, you know, I hope people in, that's watching this in the mainstream area can understand that. But anyhow, Brittany Greer Niner, Grind Niner, now we're going, we're getting close guys. Thank you for being here. We're just kind of getting a recap because we were off all weekend. If you check out my other YouTube channel, you can kind of see what I did all weekend. You can see what I'm doing off work. It's, I have a lot of fun it's, and it's a lot of work, but I, I, we were bush hogging. We were getting old cars running. We had people hanging out. It was nice, a lot of fun, a lot of community action. And uh, it's, you know, just good stuff. Anyways, Brittany Griner, speaking about work, has been detained in Russia since February. She has only two uh, phone conversations with her her wife. It's not Chevelle, neither. <laughs> it looks like Chevelle, but it's Sherelle. 
And during an interview on CBS, Griner details those conversations went. So basically through, through the, let's, let's just, let's just. Rel Griner, that's the wife of WNBA star Brittany Griner. In an interview with CBS Morning's Gail King, this is funny, she said guys. she's worried about what will happen on October <laughs> 25th, a... the next hearing for Brittany. BG, as Sherelle calls her, has been jailed on drug possession charges in Russia for nearly eight months. What could happen to Brittany in two weeks? In my brain, I'm like, please, in two weeks, have figured this out. Um, <laughs> but the reality of the situation is that once that hearing is held and the order is finalized, BG's now in the position where she could be moved to a labor camp. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? Is that wrong, guys? Leave me in a, sec a, a comment in the comment section. If Am I wrong to feel that way? Because she totally, 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 completely bent the knee and told everybody that the United States is, is, a, is a dookie face duke hole and um, that, uh, <laughs> that, you know, F the United States. She's going to go over there and play some basketball for these people. Ah, <laughs> Ooh, whoops. And I, my brain can't even fathom it. Um, no, I can't fathom a lot of things. That's enough. But she's definitely looking at some pretty, uh, yeah, she going to learn something. <laughs> oh, by the way, over the past week, I watched in Arizona, Blake Masters, like, wipe the floor. Check this out. Let's get down to here. Dude, he really, really, really is, uh, he's, he's sort of young, so he's still learning the ropes on how all this stuff works. But um, he completely wiped the floor with candidates. And he started like, <laughs> he started, oh, he's, he's like, he starts taking down the Biden regime. <laughs> it's funny. I mean, you think I'd have this thing all teed up, ready to go. But <laughs> it wasn't like two years ago what changed. It's what Joe Biden took over in Washington, and he's talking about working with Dems and all Things this. started with opening statements, and we begin with Blake Masters. Hi, I'm Blake Masters. I'm running to be your next senator because our current senator, Mark Kelly, has messed everything up. Our border is in chaos. We've got drugs and illegal aliens just pouring in. Crime is up. The cost of groceries Actually, the cost of everything you need to live keeps going up and up. It wasn't like this two years ago. What changed? Well, Joe Biden took over. And in Washington, Mark Kelly backs Joe Biden every single time. Without thinking twice. Without thinking of Arizona. And you know, it's not what he said he'd do. Two years ago, Mark Kelly stood right there and he promised to be independent. But he broke that promise. My wife, Catherine, and I grew up right here in Arizona. We're raising our three little boys here now. And we're sick of seeing Arizona families suffer just because Mark Kelly wants to fit in in D.C. Send me to the U.S. Senate, and I will put Arizona families first. Thank you. Okay, I like that. I like that. It's good energy. And um, like I say, uh, do, 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 do. come on, get in here, computer. I have to coach this whole thing. I think all my transistors are probably worked to death on this portal thing. Let's get down here. There's a, this is, um, give me just one second, guys. I don't really appreciate you guys for tuning in. This, uh, this whole thing right here is good. This is a great, a great, um, article and also a great video because like I said, I watched the whole thing and there was a few instances where what happened was with Mark Kelly, he was using this double speak where he was actually right after um, right after Blake would, would there. Give All right. Uh, his, again, his uh, respond. Can I have that yes, you do. The people of Arizona know that those 87,000 IRS agents that you're sicking on them, they're not just going after billionaires. They're not just going after big business. They're going to be auditing you. They're going to be auditing your small businesses this time next year. Some oh, yeah. Are and, patrol patrol agents on the ground. And that's what we have today. Respond, please. Did you or did you not vote to reject 18,000 more Border Patrol agents in the Inflation Reduction Act passage? Senator. You know, we... we there it is right there. Are, there. there are votes that happen in D.C. that have nothing to do with Border Patrol agents, and it might have the title on it, and nothing happens, right? So what I have done 
is I got a billion dollars more for Border Patrol agents for staffing, you know, for the technical systems to monitor the border. And where they make sense to, to build more border barriers at the southern border. Are you cherry that, that's my that that's my record, which is I've been strong on border security and hey, I stood up to Democrats. He's really he's really, really stumbling over this one when they're wrong on this issue. It's, you can see when their eyes open real big. He's 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 messed up. He's trying his best to hurry up and think of something. Sounds including, like including, by the way. Yes. Including the president. You know, when the president decided I see here that he was going to do something dumb on this and change the rules, you know, that would create a bigger crisis. But, you know, I told him he was wrong. Off on Biden. Oh. So I to raise Border Patrol pay by 18 18 percent when the border is secure. How do we know when the border is secure? Well, call me old fashioned, but I think the correct amount of illegal immigration is zero. Ah, uh, good, good, good. Blake Masters. All right, cool. Check this out. OK. Uh, OK. Mm, uh, I did a video on this last week and you've probably already seen it. But if you hadn't, this woman scares these poor kids to death. And I don't know if I should do the video on it, but I'll just talk about it because it is pretty heartbreaking. If you want to see the video on it, just go a couple of videos down on my YouTube channel and you can actually see a full length of what these uh, people did. I just don't want to do another one of it. Um, but it's really crazy. And I'll, and I'll give you, I tell, I, talk, yeah, I tell you where the place is, by the way. The place is in Mississippi and it's called uh, Little Blessings Daycare. And, um, and th so... Little Blessings Daycare in Mississippi. This, these these people really terrorize these kids over over um trying to get them to do a few chores. They're only like three and four and five. They're real little toddlers. I mean, t t he says they're not cleaning up. They're not doing something. And uh, you know, it's no way to enforce structure, guys. But if you want to see that video, just go a couple of videos back on my YouTube channel, and, you, and it's there. It's, you're going to see it. It's called uh the video is titled daycare nurses does this or daycare workers do this or something like that anyway just it's terrible it's terrible so we're not going to show that um tyson's food is smart they already know what's going down all these places are like uh kind of like something's happening to them we don't know what weird things are happening to food corp uh, plants that are you know processing and different things and this corporation for tyson's food is getting out of uh chicago <laughs> Woo boy they uh they're thinking ahead guys and it's a phase relocation, and I'm not doesn't show doesn't say quite where they're going yet, but um, the uh, I did a video on this. I can't uh, I got I can't do the audio though, and uh, it has to do with uh, she's she's singing and she's trying to get people to come here and she's uh, sweet home Chicago. I can't play the audio. There's two seconds of it there, but um, she, uh, mm, not too good, guys. Not too good. So uh, they're getting out of there. Check this out. Madonna. Now we're getting to some up-to-date stuff here, guys. This is pretty new here. Madonna. I, I'd only bring her out because of the fact that it just goes to show you what happens to people in Hollywood. This woman's, I think she's 109 years old. 109 years old. Um, headed to be, I think she's the oldest person alive right now, I think. But um, apparently old things get new tricks or something. But here she is. She's in this. And the, I think this is a, yeah, this is a TikTok, by the way. Here you go, TikTok people. TikTok people. Here, here is uh, Pladonna. There you go. <laughs> Um, I can't play too much of that because of the copyright, but maybe that, that'll slide through. Uh, anyways, man. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, what's her name? Britney Spears. You reckon that she comes over there and look at that. She's, she, there's, she stands like a 900 year old person. <laughs> uh terrible news scott okay all right here we go this is where we're getting into the some of the things that i was talking about earlier scott pressler bedridden for the last two months with a blood disease almost lost his ability to use his legs and uh, he's got some stuff going on there uh he's a conservative activist his bedridden has been for the past month and scott released a video from his bed saying he's having trouble walking uh, I don't know. Let me see here. 
I'm trying to think here. It's he's got some weird symptoms. He's supposed to be a conservative. I can't play that because there's stuff in there. But some of these, some of these people are conservatives now because of what's happened to them. And uh, and he's they probably were on the side of uh, what they thought was right, and then realized that they're being sold a lie, and they they're, they're headed this direction now, which is better than nothing. I mean, not better than nothing because those people are. Let me tell you something. You got a lefty that has defected from leftism because they actually woke up and seen what was going on. They are the, some of the best fighters that we have for doing this legally, by the way, are activists who kind of like try to help other people come to the realization that maybe what they're believing isn't exactly the whole 100%. And those people that do that are really, really a blessing. So, you know, those people, and that's why it pays to try to, you know, try to help people. You, know, you don't, don't, don't waste too much time, but maybe throw a few words in there and see if it kind of dings around and they kind of put things together. But this, this uh, starting LSU Tigers offensive lineman hospitalized hours before the kickoff game. Uh, Friday night, one of the LSU Tiger players was taken to the hospital due to a medical emergency. Freshman offensive lineman Will Campbell was hospitalized during a walkthrough on Friday in a preparation for a game against Tennessee Volunteers. In the, uh, it's still unclear what the uh, emergency, what the whole thing was all about. Nobody has any uh, idea. Another. Another one of those. Detroit Lions CB Savian, Savian, sorry, Savian Smith collapses on the field during the NFL game. Uh, the father rides with him in the ambulance, and there's not really a cause of that either. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. What's this look like? Okay, butts get turned away on downs. This is Savion Smith. That's the player that circled right there. He chucks Hunter Henry at the line, and then Smith goes down. Looks like he collapses face first. The game was stopped. The Lions' entire team comes out. The stretcher comes out. The ambulance comes onto the field for him. And then this was another thing we haven't seen. They gestured to someone in the fans. We assume this is a family member, perhaps his father, but Savion Smith second year corner out of Alabama in the ambulance uh, this the game had been stopped for several minutes and a very concerning looking situation from Gillette Stadium we wow dude wow um yeah so um another ghastly day in New York City by the way <laughs> oh gosh this uh this dude gets run over a tractor trailer and when that happens people they rob him while he's down look at this go ahead gangsta go ahead go ahead gangsta go ahead yo she like yo let me take all that off him you don't need that oh uh. yo yo they're cheering him on Oh, this is New York. New York has a brand, guys. New York has a brand, according to Eric Adams. <laughs> they have a brand. Unlike places like Kansas and stuff. <laughs> I quote I'm quoting Eric Adams. I'm not I'm not I'm not throwing off on Kansas. <laughs> uh hey, Kansas, your brand if you don't have a brand that's better than that brand, I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the tragedy though. I'm just the irony is what I'm laughing at. And that poor fella, bless his heart. Uh, my condolences go to the family. Uh, Hooters restaurant in Plano, Texas, attacked by a mob of youths and the children over a candy bar. Here's a video for that, too. And a lot of places in Texas are, are Democrat. Ooh, uh, let's see here. Let's see. Coming to you live from the Plano Hooters. <laughs> Little children. Yeah. Shake, please. Um, no different than the brown shirts that would come in and there and terrorize the Jewish people and, um, and and uh, and uh, and that t in the era of the Hitler era, <laughs> I mean, really, uh, you know, they would come in there and they would do bad things like that. Uh, same difference. The 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 Gestapo, 
And that's uh, allowed to happen, by the way. Allowed to happen in uh, Democrat places because you're, uh, you know, that's what they want. So anyhow, wow, I don't know how long we've been here. It has been a lot of fun. It's been nice to uh, get some more of this content out. I've been just real, real busy. And um, I wonder if my microphone's been turned down the whole time. I hope that you guys could hear me. I've tried really hard here. This, I always forget to check that right away. And so if nothing else, at the end of this whole thing, I'll have something with a little bit of audio. Yeah, well, good gracious. You know what? One of these days, I'll learn how to do this. Anyways, I think you can still hear that okay. Please let me know in the comments. I just thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you all the wonderful new subscribers. Thank you all the wonderful people out there who have uh, just been here since the beginning. And I know that you guys have put in actual some real work time because I remember whenever the whole thing was when we were trying to have integrity in certain things that we were, we were all working really hard, making phone calls, putting emails in. And, um, you know, I think that, you know, our efforts aren't unthwarted. I think that there are going to be uh, some decent changes that we'll have and people are going to really start to kind of become more and more alive and more and more awake. And, you know, people like Kanye West coming back and actually, you know, you know, understanding where they were at life and seeing where, where they're headed. It's a big sign of a good thing because, you know, I've watched that dude. I'm not a, I don't, uh, it, I love all genres of music, but I mostly don't listen to a lot of the rap just because I just don't. I don't know why. And I'm not that anything against it, but I've watched people in general. I watched Kanye West come up and some of the attacks that have been given on him whenever um, he was trying to get out of where he was at. I remember watching South Park do uh, attacks on him, you know, make him look stupid. So that man's had a lot of rods thrown at him, you know, as far as that when, you know, people trying to take him down. Anyways, but he's seems to be kind of like leading the way and i remember him kind of hanging with trump a little bit and he didn't want nobody to know it and he had to like kind of hide all that well anyhow um just keep looking for other little changes in the water that's moving in the right direction guys i think we're going to be headed uh, in, in a lot of really positive ways and all we have to do is just remember that this whole thing is a stupid psyop and there are there is going to be you know we're going to have struggles because of the fact of what they're trying to do to us now that the PSYOP isn't working as well as they thought it is. Now they're going to go sort of kinetic by taking out some of our food supplies, some of our energy sectors. And that doesn't mean that we're not going to thrive. It just means that they're, they're being exposed and we're just going to have to deal with it. Like any other, anything, you know, when you when you start to transition from an in, like information, uh, what, an information fair, I'm like, I can't say certain things to uh, now that the left is going sort of kinetic. Just, um, just don't we, we, we just keep the peace, just keep the peace and let them be the ones to break the law because eventually tides will turn and we'll be the ones that will have the moral high ground and the public opinion will be one on our side and everything will be a okay. We'll be able to make it out of this guys and be, and thrive uh, exponentially. And I have full confidence in that, but just, just be patient and enjoy the days that you have. Every day is a wonderful day. If you can just understand that it is a day that you have, you know, you can either make it bad or good, make every day a wonderful day. And just know that I'm here doing my best for you guys. And I really appreciate all you guys in the comments. I don't say thank you guys, but I don't know if I can do it enough. <laughs> I'll, I'll be alive today at 1130. I don't know what this video will go out, but it'll be today, uh, today's Monday, 10, 10, 22. All right. All right, guys. See you later. I'll be on a, not even on this channel, but this way network. <laughs> well, all the machine we got. All right. Bye.